Yesterday, the FBI released the pictures of and video of two men they say were suspects in the Boston bombings. They say that the they believe the two men carried in place the two bombs that killed three innocent Americans, including an eight-year-old boy, injured almost 200 other Americans. Absent from their announcement yesterday was any mention of the Saudi national. Now, the documents were brought to um, our attention at The Blaze. And those documents indicate that this guy is scheduled for deportation next Tuesday due to issues related to national security. The document goes on to say the individual is linked to the Boston bombing. That's what the federal document says. His apartment was in Revere, Massachusetts. It was raided. The items were removed. And then we were told that he was just a possible witness. And then we were finally told by the authorities that he had nothing to do with the attack. In fact, he wasn't a witness to the crime. Well, why was he in the hospital? This is ICE. They categorically denied calling it grossly in error. ICE claimed that there was a Saudi national in custody in Boston waiting deportation, but it was completely unrelated to the Boston bombing. After a number of those media or outlets discredited us or tried to with the ICE uh, disclaimer, we received another call from yet another patriotic citizen in our government. This one from a high-ranking congressional aide who told us that the deportation order that we had just reported on had just been requested and delivered to his boss. He requested anonymity to protect those who had secretly provided the report, but proceeded to read to us the eight-page document which confirmed every single detail we reported yesterday and throughout the day. DHS Director, the Department of Homeland Security, the head of the department that you created to keep Americans from having their legs blown off, Janet Napolitano yesterday was asked about the Saudi national and his pending deportation. She refused to answer. ICE angrily mocked our story, calling it false. The FBI has changed their story about this man every day since the bombing and has made no mention of him at yesterday's news conference, even though there is still a standing deportation order for reasons of national security and on the documents it says linked to the Boston bombing. Now you ask yourself, what's going on? Why did the president just happen to stop by? When a Saudi um, official happened to be in an office, why was the president meeting with somebody unscheduled earlier this week? A Saudi official. Who is this Saudi man who was in the hospital, given a new international cell phone, and apologized to, according to him, in Saudi press? Who is he, I wonder? Why would anyone linked to the bombings be deported? If he's involved, wouldn't he be prosecuted? If he's a witness, why wouldn't you want him to testify? Why would you allow someone who was standing there by the bomb to be deported? Why would he leave? And why hasn't anybody in the mainstream media taken an interest in finding out why are they silent? The Blaze is interested. And the Blaze will not sit down. We will not comply. We will not shut up. We will not be intimidated. We work hard into looking who he is, who he's connected to, and why he seems to be being offered a ticket to freedom, even though he's been identified as a threat to national security. Don't believe me? Don't believe me. Six congressmen have verified. One of our brave sources on this story last night asked me to do something very specific, and when I was told to do it, I said, that is out of here. That's crazy talk. What the hell does that even mean? It was then explained, uh, and they told me what it meant. I can't, at this time, tell you what it means, but I I want to do it one more time, because on Monday, I reveal everything that we know. So let me just say this to those at the highest echelons of government that know the tagging system. They know all about events, not files, events. Let me send this message very clear. We know who this Saudi national is. 
And it is in your best interest and the best interest of integrity and trust for the, uh, the people of the United States of America. It's best coming from you, not coming from a news organization. It's best coming from you. You have until Monday. We have information on who this man is. And listen to me carefully in your little event world. We know he is a very bad, bad, bad man. I know that doesn't make any sense to you right now, but on Monday, it will. It makes sense to somebody in Washington. I don't bluff. I make promises. The truth matters. I've had enough of what you've done to our country. I thought I had heard and seen it all. I thought I didn't trust my government. Oh, no. No, no. There is no depth that these people will not stoop to. They have until Monday. And then the blaze will expose it. Here's Glenn Beck. Uh, Glenn Beck says Obama is covering up the truth of Boston bombing. Six reported Saudi terrorists in his family out of 85 listed by the government. And there's a photo of the young chap. There's uh, the uh, different uh, people meeting with him in the hospital. And Michelle Obama reportedly visited him. And now Fox News is confirming that he will be deported. Uh, so are other publications. Uh, and again, there's Michelle Obama visiting him. So this is a, this is a big deal going on. And there he is uh, right there. And, of course, there's a big sis saying that don't believe Drudge Report. And then you've got this report right here. Obama meets with Saudi foreign minister. They say on Syria it was a walk-by meeting, so it wouldn't be on record, but they still got caught. Uh, and that was the night of the bombing. And, again, there's a big sis saying don't believe Drudge. He's not credible. And then you've got, of all people, the Syrian government hacking 60 Minutes and CBS to put out that the West is involved in the bombing and funding al-Qaeda. They don't know who they are, but you've clearly got this Fed with an earpiece watching the two brothers uh, as they walk by. And then, of course, they blur uh, this guy out. They knew who they were. They've been on them for at least five years, meeting with them. Of course, there's a cover-up of Saudi Arabia. Of course, they're deporting this guy. Of course, they don't want you to look at all the other players that are going to use this. And remember, 400 military, 2,000 police couldn't protect you. So no amount of police state will protect you. All right, since Friday, Infowars.com has been reporting on Glenn Beck saying on his Friday uh, radio slash TV show that he can't believe how evil Obama is and basically implying that Obama is involved in a false flag and a cover-up of Saudi Arabian involvement. But I do know what his information is. It was out on Friday, and we've been uh, covering it since then. And before I give you the information, I want to be clear. I followed past globalist staged events, false flags, where they provocateur real terrorists to attack us. A false flag doesn't mean that there aren't real terrorists. In some cases, they're just allowed to attack. Others, they're basically funded. And a lot of times it's by criminal interests that want to sell more weapons or invade a country. Not even so much the government. The media always tries to oversimplify it and say, Alex Jones is saying the whole government, from firefighters to police, are involved. No, they're compartmentalized. But here is the news. You've got this uh, very rich uh, slash royal uh, connected family, and you've got this uh, student who is a person of interest who they were questioning, and you have the Saudi foreign minister visiting and Michelle Obama visiting him, and you've got the foreign minister having an emergency meeting with Obama. Definitely some stuff going on here, and he was reportedly mildly injured uh, in the bombing. Now, if you read the Global Dispatch and you follow it to Saudi Arabian newspapers, uh, it, it is being reported over there that at least six members of his close family uh, are listed on a list of only 85 terrorists listed by the Saudi Arabians. Six of his family are listed uh, on it. So that's the information. But if you go back to 9-11, they flew the bin Ladens out of the country. I mean, that was on local Miami TV. Uh, when all the other aircraft were grounded, the, there were what, 15 flights of the bin Ladens out of the country. So this is happening yet again. Am I saying that this Saudi Arabian did it? 
Am I saying they were involved? I don't know. I just know that when you have a staged event, you'll have these Chechens, you'll have Muslim groups from the Middle Eastern, Saudi Arabian, right-wing patsies. They'll want to have a bunch of people there for different fallback plans. And the media was planning to go with the right-wing angle. And the photos getting out of the drill and the fact that the drill did happen and them lying about it has really screwed them up. So if you want to know, there's the breaking news from GlobalDispatch.com. We have it mirrored up at InfoWars.com, and it's got uh, links to the uh, different uh, publications uh, there in Saudi Arabia. And there's a bunch of other news on this as well. Big Sis has been caught lying, saying Drudge was wrong.